Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Summer. I'm back with another video, man. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best point guard lockdown defender builder NBA 2K21 demo. In my opinion, now the pie chart you want to choose, want to choose sharp and defensive. Now, with this build, you're gonna get the best of both worlds. You're gonna be able to shoot and play defense. I'm talking about high 70s, low 80s, three, and like high 80s, 90s defense. So you're gonna be really a two-way sharp. It's a really insane build, and in my opinion, it's, it's, it's goaded. So for here, you wanna max out your driving layup and driving dunk. We're gonna get back to this. You wanna max out the first three things during your shooting. And then for post fade, you wanna come up and you wanna put your post fade until you have 15 shooting badges. Now, since they took quick draw out as a badge, in terms of like, as badge points, you don't need that many shooting badges because you don't have to worry about quick draw anymore. So for playmaking, you can low-key max out all three D's to get that nine playmaking. And then for here, you want to max out your lateral quickness, perimeter, steal, and then defensive rebounding, and you get 20 defensive. Now, the thing is with this build, look. Post hook, standing dunk, and close shot don't matter. Now, you could put your close shot up, but the thing is, you don't get, you, won't, you still won't get a finishing badge. So what you could do is, you can put more shooting on yours or put more defense. But for me, I'm going to put more defense in mine. But let me see. All right. So I don't, I'm just going to put a block. I don't really care for offense or rebounding. And body type, this is all up to you. It doesn't matter which body type you choose. But personally, I'm going to go with build. And for height, you don't want to be 6'3 with this build. Now, look, here's the thing. The taller you are, I don't know why 2K does this almost every year. But the taller you are, the worse your stats are. So, if you want to see this build at its best, I suggest you go 6'5". Look, let me show you. So, if you go 6'5", and I suggest going... If, if you want to be a ball handler with this build, I suggest going lowest weight. But if you don't care about being ball handler or running in PG with this build, then you can go to 200 or you can max, you can even go max weight if you want. Now, actually, I'm, I want that 90 speed. So I'm going to go lowest weight. All right, so for wingspan, all right, so pay attention. So look, when you match your wingspan, you're still getting a 74 three ball, which is pretty good. And then look at the defensive rating. You're getting a 95 still on the build that can shoot really good. You're getting an 89 lat, 89 perimeter. Like you really are a lockdown defender. This is basically a two-way sharpshooter. I'm telling you guys, this build is really good. I was looking at this build all day. I tweeted it out. You know, some people was like, yo, you got to drop the build. But the thing is, it's 6'5". And look, for the takeovers, you're getting lock and playmaking. But here's the thing about this build. There's so many different ways to make this build in terms of like stats and how you put up each category. So if I wanted to take off block, I could put more in the shooting. And that's 17 shooting badges right there. And I could still go back to 6'5", still go lowest weight max wingspan which is glitchy and also look all right here here's another thing you could do when making this build you can go smallest wingspan right now look you're kind of messing up your stats not even kind of you're 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 making your defensive stats bad but you're making your offensive stats good and look if you go smallest arms you get more takeovers to choose from but me personally i wouldn't suggest doing this just for the simple fact is because you're going to be more of an offensive guy you wouldn't be you wouldn't be that much of a threat on defense so that's why i strongly suggest you go max wingspan or you know a little bit max somewhere in between but if you want to be a if you make an impact on defense i suggest going max wingspan so you can get those high defensive stats and still you know pretty good shooting all right so you want to go lock takeover right now let's get into the badges i can show you guys some pretty glitches badges pretty glitchy badges so you say perimeter lock all right look all right now look at the badge spread the badge spread in my opinion is pretty good you get 16 shooting nine play making 20 defensive and i don't know how legend's gonna be on current gen or how rep is gonna work but last year if you hit legend on any build you get plus 10 so imagine if it was 2k20 you have 30 and you're a legend you have 30 defensive you have 19 playmaking. You have 26 shooting. That's that build is pretty glitchy. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys like good good bash spread for the build. So 
if if you were playing if you were just playing like the two guard the two guard like you're not bringing up the ball i will put catch and shoot on um i'll put green machine how's on hunter this is if you have hot spots or not if you don't have hot spots then you, you can look you take this off you don't need volume shooter because you're not the main point guard brain to center that's a must and low-key if you're a lot of sharps like two-way sharps like sharps in general they dex off ball dexing is a move to create space off ball to, to get you to open shot when you catch you could put this on you could put oh wait nah i ain't gonna lie you gotta use dead eye that is important don't even use slippery off ball if you gotta use dead eye dead eye is a must like not even for like super contested shots but for shots that are like not even that contested like you know 20 30 percent you're gonna need that dead eye to help you out so that's what I would do if I had if, if that was a shooting and for playmaking. Like I said, it all depends if you're running the point guard or not. If you're not running the point guard, then you know, I mean you could still use some, you can use quick first step. On any build with playmaking, the first badge should be quick first step because it just gives you that burst of speed with the ball in your hand. Now nine times out of ten, your guard you're playing with, that's most guards are playmaking or have at least playmaking in their build on Hall of Fame that run the point guard. So you don't need to put Floor General or Don Marion because let's just assume that your guard has it on. Your main point guard that you're playing with, which 9 times out of 10 he should. And if he doesn't, you gotta tell him to put him on. And for this build, you, you won't need ankle breaker for this build. You're probably not gonna get ankle breakers. This is more of like a shooting and defensive pie chart. That's, that's what this build is. So you don't need ankle breaker. So quick first step. You could go handles for days. You could go tight handles. Um, I don't know if tight handles, if tight handles works like it does last year, and we all know it didn't work until they. I mean, it did work until they passed it behind the back last year. So I don't know what the tight handle is gonna be like this year, but for for now we could put that on because who knows? It might be it might be useful. So tight handles, quick first step, and you can go either handles for days or unpluggable i would probably go unpluggable gold that's pretty good right there honestly because this is all you pretty much need for for your playmaking even if you're not even the main guard that's pretty much all you need for the playmaking now defense there's so many different ways you can go with this for like defense wise because there's so many different like there's twos threes it's pro-am there's just different scenarios you could do but when it comes to defensive badges you want to think of the most common scenarios all right so you want to go with clamps hall of fame this is a must when you're the lockdown i'm talking about max wingspan you're going to be the one pushing up the ball guarding the ball most of the time you want that clamps hall of fame you want that pick dodger hall of fame because look a lot of times even the best of the best guards in this game they all use screens i'm talking about like competitively stage stuff like that they all use screens nobody isos on the three score all right especially competitive wise so you want to go pick dodger now you could put interceptor on silver. That's what I would do. You want to put intimidator on gold or hall of fame. I'm gonna just leave it on gold because um, gold works. If it's the same as 20 gold, works just as good as gold on hall of fame. All right. So intimidator. Now, since we're the lockdown, but we're the perimeter lock, we don't really need rim protector. We could leave that on bronze because my times out of time we're gonna have a center that that will play that paint for us we just have to guard their perimeter so you can leave that on bronze now for rebound chaser remember this build has max wingspan even though it's, it's six five it has max wingspan so you could look you could look you put this on gold because you, you never know you could literally help out your center get boards more than you even think you you wouldn't even know so put on gold rebound chaser now honestly the last badge is up to you. I wouldn't put on pickpocket though because you don't get steals like that. You don't get on ball steals like that. So I wouldn't go pickpocket. I mean, I, w I don't know how 2K21 is going to be like. I'm just basing it off 2K20 because the game looks just like 2K20. But in 2K20 pickpocket, that badge barely worked. People barely got plucked. So um, for the last badge, in my opinion, I mean, you, could, you can't really. There's, honestly, I'll probably just put up rim protector. I'll probably just go like this because there's none else you could really put off when you because this is for a perimeter It's not like it's an inside, but there's so many different scenarios But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this build. I think this build is really insane 
you know, a little perimeter lockdown build. Honestly, I could definitely see me, me rocking this build 2K21, not as my main, but you know, as a, you know, just a build in general. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think this build is good, it's been your boy Stumpy. If you made it this far, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm out, y'all. Peace.